it's my pleasure to welcome you um, in this event. And uh, it's good to see so many people here in a physical presence, but also very warm welcome for all of those who are following us through the web streaming. Uh, as you know, this event is part of the awareness raising campaign for knowledge valorization, and I will be your host during the morning session. Before we start, I would like to remind you of two things. To facilitate your participation throughout the day, please use the Slido. So uh, you can make questions and you can participate through the Slido. There will be questions and, and activities there. Check out also when you go for breaks, for coffee and lunch breaks, check, check out also the um, stakeholder uh, desks and stands which are outside the room. They provide very interesting uh, additional information and networking opportunities and also uh, very interesting examples of, of some services. <clears throat> now, we, we will start and I'm very happy to announce our first speaker, uh, Joanna Drake. She's the Deputy Director General of DG Research and Innovation in the European Commission. Joanna, the floor is yours. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, and I'm very honored to welcome you to our first European Commission stakeholder event on knowledge valorization. Um, we have gathered here today to exchange views and shape the future of knowledge valorization across Europe at a time when we are approaching the first anniversary of the Council recommendation on guiding principles for knowledge valorization, which was adopted almost a year ago in early December. So as we embark on this journey, let us remind ourselves of the critical role knowledge plays in driving innovation, economic growth and social progress. The European Union, built on the foundation of collaboration and shared values, has always emphasized the importance of knowledge and its transformation into solutions that benefit all of society. Through the RNI framework programs, as well as na national funding, Europe invests considerably in research and innovation. During the past years, the role of research and innovation has been further strengthened as a major contributor for addressing our societal needs and emergencies. Therefore, value creation through RNI and the need for improving knowledge valorization in Europe are amongst the priority areas, both in the European research area, the era, and in the new European innovation agenda. Now, our commitment to fostering a vibrant European research and innovation ecosystem that maximizes the value of knowledge is unwavering. The commitment was demonstrated by the 2022 Council recommendation on the guiding principles for knowledge valorization, followed by more hands-on codes of practice on intellectual assets management and on standardization. The implementation of the guiding principles and of the codes of practice will enhance career prospects for researchers, improve industry, academia, collaboration, and also increase the engagement of citizens and civil society in developing and deploying innovative solutions. Whether you represent academia, research organizations, intermediaries, industry, or SMEs, policymakers, public bodies, or civil society, each of you plays a crucial role in advancing knowledge uptake in Europe. It is the collective effort and commitment of stakeholders that will shape the future of Europe's knowledge economy. I would like to highlight that the event today was co-designed with stakeholders based on the contributions received in a public call. We are happy that so many of you are sharing your experiences and practices on how to increase the value of the RNI results and how to make them work for society. We see a growing trend driven by open innovation towards more interactive models of collaboration and the use of smart technologies in a human-centric way for a faster deployment of innovative projects. We find ourselves in a world characterized by digital transformation, climate change, demographic shifts and geopolitical challenges. It is therefore paramount that we position ourselves to leverage knowledge as a tool for sustainable development and resilience. 
The EU has stepped up efforts to increase the EU competitiveness and strengthen its technological base through ensuring research security. It has recently adopted the economic security communication meant to highlight opportunities, challenges and de-risking strategies for EU actors in a challenging geopolitical climate. The communication aims to develop a comprehensive approach on commonly identifying, assessing and managing risks to the EU's economic security, notably with regard to critical technologies while preserving maximum levels of economic openness and dynamism. Recently, the high-level expert group on the economic and social impact of research and innovation, the so-called ESIR, issued a paper on research, innovation and technology policy in, in times of geopolitical competition. It promotes the ability of Europe to harness and combine the forces of digitalization and other emerging technologies, of course, innovation, competition and entrepreneurship for the benefit of society, international solidarity and our planet. It should start from the premise that Europe invests in research, in innovation and in technology and ensures that the value of these investments benefit our society. Only with world-leading science, technology and innovation can Europe secure its flagship role as promoter of peace and sustainable development while addressing security concerns through the systematic inclusion of foresight activities and resiliency checks. The RNI ecosystem should systematically explore new ways to leverage the power of knowledge and research breakthroughs. This is precisely the aim of the knowledge valorization policy. Our common goal is to encourage a mindset shift towards increasing the societal and economic value of our research investments. Co-creation with various actors, such as researchers, industry, users, and linking stakeholders across various areas in a multidisciplinary approach are at the core of ensuring broader impact of research and innovation. The work during this first year of implementation of the guiding principles has been very fruitful, with many initiatives taking place both at the EU level and in the Member States. Some key initiatives refer to the need to develop the skill set of all actors in the RNI ecosystem towards a more entrepreneurial culture and open innovation. This will in turn support transforming research results into sustainable products and solutions that benefit society in terms of economic prosperity, environmental benefits, societal progress and better policy making. To support the implementation of the guiding principles, an awareness raising campaign with a tour of member states was kicked off last spring. Four national events have taken place already in the Czech Republic, Lithuania, Spain and Slovenia, highlighting the best practices in boosting commercialization of research results, as well as initiatives enhancing the uptake of research results for policymaking. The campaign continues with three national events coming up in November in Austria, Portugal and Greece. I would like to share with you some of the inspiring examples gathered at these events about, about many initiatives unfolding at national level. There has been an adoption of a national plan on the valorization of knowledge in Spain with concrete actions for reinforcing the role of intermediaries, enhancing their skill set and capacity building, as well as fostering an entrepreneurship mindset early on. Building on the digital leadership in the Baltic countries, Vilnius Tech encourages students to promote ideas in the sustainability school. Strategic Research and Innovation Partnerships, SRIP, in Slovenia, to promote business academia collaboration for upscaling technological solutions. Dedicated calls for the arts and social sciences in Czechia, to respond to societal challenges and to foster uptake and use of non-technological results with knowledge valorization being part of the objectives and the evaluation of the proposals. Through this type of initiatives, we can build a stronger culture for knowledge valorization and increase Europe's role at the forefront of both the quality of its research and uptake of innovation. I encourage you all to use the repository of best practices hosted on our knowledge valorization platform where you can submit your best practice and inspire others. The power of sharing best practices and actively looking for opportunities for learning and testing new approaches are key drivers for knowledge valorization. I would also encourage you to register to receive the knowledge valorization newsletter, which was launched in September and where best practices will be highlighted additionally 
to the latest news about knowledge valorization. We are in the meantime preparing two new codes of practice on industry academia collaboration and on citizen engagement to provide more guidance on these key areas with a view to strengthen and improve value, value creation. These two codes are based on the contributions from dedicated communities of practice which has completed their work before the summer. Our aim is to work together to ensure the broadest uptake of the new EU guidelines and to achieve maximum impact. Ultimately, the real engine for change is each and every one of you. This event is a way to bring forward concrete proposals to implement the recommendations, and I'm convinced that it will spur interesting discussions. It is an opportunity to share ideas to further support knowledge valorization across the RNI ecosystem and also inspire others by presenting projects which can be replicated and scaled up in other areas. Thank you for your participation and for your willingness to increase knowledge valorization to promote the uptake of the recent guidance in your own organizations. I'm really looking forward to the key takeaway messages from the different sessions today. Let's keep working together to improve and increase the use of research and innovation results in Europe. Thank you very much for your attention.